When most people decide that they're going to start training speed and strength, they don't necessarily think of them as skills. And because of that, those people all make the same mistake. The ones who do look at it as a skill though, all avoid making that mistake. When you're training to become better at your sport and you wanna get better at the skills, you play the season, but then after the season is over, you continue to train and work on your shooting and your dribble. Otherwise, over the course of the next seven to eight months, your skill would diminish and you would end up right back where you were when the previous season started. So you'd basically be at the same skill level the entire time that you were playing for your entire career. The same thing happens with strength and speed. Most people come in and they think that it's something that they're going to be able to quickly change and they'll work on it for six to 12 weeks. And sure, we can, we can have you come in and we can test you at the beginning of that 12 weeks. And then we can test you at the end of that 12 weeks. And you will have improved relatively significantly because you weren't doing anything before. So that learning curve is very quick because you had no prior experience. Anything you do is going to start to make you better. But just like any skill, the more you practice it, the more you need to practice it to continue to improve. And you also need to practice it to continue to maintain the ability level that you've attained. So the way that most people look at it is they say, hey, this is my starting point. I just trained for 12 weeks, now I'm here. And they think that the next time they start training after they've taken six months off, they're gonna pick up right here again. But in reality, what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up back down here, and then you're going to take another 12 weeks and train to get back up here, and you're just gonna be on this cycle where you just keep doing this. What we wanna see athletes do is treat it like any other skill. And this is the way that you get the most out of it. This is how you get the most bang for your buck. You're starting here, and you wanna to go to here. And you wanna stay there. You wanna maintain that level during your season. And you do that by continuing to train and practice the skills of speed and strength. You don't need to do it that often to maintain it. Think of it like any other sport. To maintain the ability level that you have shooting and dribbling, playing basketball, you don't need to practice it that often, but you need to keep practicing. Then in this case, once your season is over, you start training again, and now you end up here. Season hits, you keep training one time a week, and then you step it up again after that. And this is how we see long-term progression in our athletes. And the ones who actually treat their speed and their strength like a skill, and they try to develop it over time like you would any other skill, and continue to put in the work, those are the ones that see the best results. And these are the types of results that we want all of our athletes to see. We don't wanna see people go through this cycle where they get faster and stronger and then slower and weaker, faster and stronger and slower and weaker. When you do it that way, it's almost like the concept of yo-yo dieting, where you gain weight, lose weight, gain weight, lose weight, and you always stay about the same. We wanna see constant improvement in our athletes over the duration of their career, however long that may be. So if you're serious about improving your speed and strength and becoming a better athlete over the course of your career, the one thing that you need to keep in mind, the one word that you need to think of is consistency. It's not how hard you train for a short period of time. It is, do you continuously train? Yes, there will be times where you train a little bit more and a little bit harder, or there will be times where you need to pull it back a little bit, or you're dealing with an injury, or you're just tired from overuse and playing too much. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is that you keep doing it and that you don't take extended periods of time away from training.